Today we're looking at the new multi-angle bench peg from Durston Tools. My name is Andrew Berry and welcome to At The Bench's YouTube channel. If you have just started jewellery making and you're putting together your own uh, workbench, you may have something very similar to this. This is a student workbench and for me, the centre of my universe when it comes to working at the bench is the bench peg. Durston have just released this. This is the multi-angle bench peg. It's made from hardwood, not plywood, and it enables you to clamp this peg in three different positions. Now, usually your bench peg is clamped right in front of you here. As this is where we're going to be working. This is where we're going to be sawing, piercing and using the bench peg. But it can also be put to either side of your bench as well, in case you didn't want any obstructions in the middle and perhaps you wanted to pierce and saw out to the sides. So you've got that option here upon the top. It comes with a little G cramp as you've got here. That will simply slide through the hole here and it'll clamp upon your work surface. Now, the benefit that you've got with these clamp on bench pegs is that you don't have to have a jeweler's bench as we've got here. You can use um, your dining room table. Just take a little bit of precaution just to protect the, uh, the top. You could be using um, a kitchen table, for instance. So these clamps can be positioned literally anywhere. So as I said, for me, the center of my universe is right in front of me here, right at roughly around about chest or sternum height. Clamps up nice and tight. But as I said, if you wanted to, you can always clamp this over to the left hand side here. And that will clamp on, which enables the peg to be put out of the way. If we were doing something right here and wanted to get nice and close, we can always come over and work to the left. And alternatively, it can also be placed on the right hand side as well. And that can be placed here again with the G-cramp holding that nice and secure. Just like that there. Now, you may be noticing all these little cutouts on this. Now, what do all these things do? Well, these are the grooves here that the G-cramp locates into like that and that will firmly attach to the bench and then usually when you buy a peg a pin for the first time it is straight and it doesn't have this v groove and we always cut a v into it why it enables us to hold the piece of metal that we're sawing nice and safe and secure by the metal being supported by each side of the peg here. Then we've also got these extra little cutouts here that we'll come to a little bit later. Also, it's got this area on the end here. Now, this is going to be ideal for when we are cutting, for instance, um, rings. The ring can be placed over the end here, and it has a slot right down in the center at 90 degrees to the edge here, and also completely vertical. And this will help us cut a nice 90 degree cut right across the ring, or if we had a small piece of metal, we could also place that within the groove, knowing that this line that we've got here is at 90 degrees. So that will give us a good guide for our saw blade, not only to keep it vertical, but also to keep it at 90 degrees to the edge of the metal that we're cutting. It's also got a little groove on the end here as well. And again, this is very handy. For instance, if we had a rod piece of silver or a piece of gold or copper we can always locate it in this end groove here to enable us to file that nice and flat and we can alter that whatever angle we want and that stops this then falling off not much point but on this side here it's got nothing and this could easily slip off but with this we can hold this and also we can bring it right down to the surface as well here level with the surface to ensure that we get a nice again a nice 90 degree nice flat edge to the piece of metal that we've got holding here as well. So that's going to be really, really beneficial to us. So we've got this groove here. I've got a piece of, of copper. I'm just going to do a little bit of piece now, but I can show you. You can see now I've got this design that I'm going to be cutting out on the top of here. And 
because we've got this V here, you can see that the metal is supported on both sides. If I'm going to be cutting along this line here, the metal is supported this side and this side. So if we were having to pierce it on the outside here, this edge here is going to be flapping up and down and it is not being supported. And if we're piercing and this moves up and down, there's a likelihood that we're going to break some saw blades and that is not good. So we can easily use this. Now, obviously, the smaller the piece that you're piercing, the closer to that center you're going to be moving the metal. As it is, this is quite large and I can bring it right down close to me here. But obviously, if it's a smaller piece, it's got to be suspended, got to be held, and it can be held nice on either side as we've got here. Again, we've also got these little areas here. This will enable us to get our saw blade in, and then we can also pierce very small pieces because we've got this nice area around here. But those little pieces are going to be able to be suspended. What I like about this is that you may be working on the bench and perhaps you've got some jump rings, you've got some small little uh, granules you've just made, you may have some gemstones and so forth and maybe want to set. And these little areas here are absolutely fantastic for that. This one here has a rounded bottom. This one here is a, a basically a nice square flat bottom. So you can put some jump rings in here instead of having them scattered all over the bench and you know exactly where those little pieces are. So all in all, I think it's an absolutely brilliant piece of equipment. As I said, it's not a plywood, it is an actual hardwood. It's got the Durston logo on the top here, so you can be sure that it is an original Durston product. And I love this. This is something that is ideal, as I said, if you're a beginner, somebody who's just starting out, who doesn't have a, a jeweler's bench that enables the bench pegs to be fitted into the bench. That's a good alternative to that. Clamps up on the top, as I said, you can clamp this anywhere. Your dining room table, your kitchen table, an old workbench, even like a, a an old butcher's block, something like that. Providing you've got a nice sturdy surface, this is going to be ideal for you. So that is the multi-angle bench peg from Durston Tools. Don't forget, please, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget, smash the little bell icon there on the end. Just be notified when films go live on our YouTube channel. Don't forget, please give this film a thumbs up if you like it and please do share it with your friends. But in the meantime, my name's Andrew Berry for At The Benches YouTube channel. Take care, see you next time. Bye-bye.